morning, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, my name is uh, Theod Nirinda, I'm a teacher at the other school in Uganda. And uh, I'm here to share a uh, recent brand through content collaboration. Uh, yeah, Timbra is one wide we use uh, frequently in business and education world. Uh, and we know that uh, the days of closing the classroom door and creating a self-contained uh, world are over. Our students need more than one person to guide their education. But we know that collaboration doesn't come that easily. Uh, we are always giving excuses, right? We don't have time, we don't have the energy to collaborate. Uh, but at the other school, we've moved a step higher. We created an online platform uh, where we interact with uh, the wider community. On this platform, you will find their exercises, you will find their classroom notes, you will find their uh, videos uh, that are created by, by the other school teachers and the uh, schools within the country uh, always visit the platform. As uh, you visit, you will see the, the traffic that is on that platform. Uh, we know that uh, creating educational videos isn't that easy. But at Gaza High School, teachers work hand in hand with their students. Uh, they create instructional videos that uh, are used in other classes, and these videos, uh, their links are uploaded to the online platform that I've just showed you, and uh, anyone from anywhere can access those videos from church. And uh, so many schools are benefiting. Uh, we believe in collaboration in that a video created at Girls the High School and shared uh, and, and used in another school enhances collaboration between the two schools, but at the same time it uh, deepens their relationship. And it's something which is uh, doing us wonders. Uh, we usually uh, document uh, uh, our best students and uh, in this way we are creating peer-to-peer -peer teaching uh, instructional videos and it's something which is you know motivating the, the learners when they see their friends uh, you know online and they are trying to reach the wider community uh, through a video. It's something which is so motivating. At the other school, we do e-tests every term. Uh, we, we, are, uh, we are piloting a model uh, whereby a test which is uh, done at the other school can be done by other schools within the country. And in that way, if they sit for the test at the same time, the marks can be corrected uh, centrally. But it's not something which is easy, but we are hoping at the end of it, we are going to three. We believe that if each school is to come up with one e-test and then they are all centrally corrected, then at the end of the day we are going to have a pool of uh, e-tests whereby any school can benefit from the many after contributing one. So it's something we are, we are looking forward to and uh, in the future we believe we can impact on uh, a wider community. And it saves time in a way. It saves time because uh, it saves teachers uh, the burden of marking. It saves uh, uh, the time of invigilation. You don't need so many people to invigilate if the kids are doing uh, an, a computer uh, design extra. And it's something we are pushing forward. Uh, we know that collaboration doesn't come that easy. So at option times, we hold what we call face-to-face -face seminars. Uh, students come together and under the guidance of uh, their teachers and at times teachers also come together and in this way they can share. You know that at times you can be a teacher and there is a topic that you are not comfortable with. But in this seminar you will find someone who has the experience and has given it time and it's from there that you share and in that way you go back to your school when you are more comfortable and we feel something which is helping us as schools in Uganda and especially schools that are near Gaza High School. Uh, we do collaborate with 
our school farm and the community around us. We know that uh, we can organize lessons using the local available materials. You don't need to be in class all the time. You can once in a while take your students outside the normal classroom environment. And uh, in that way, it captures their attention. And we know that if you can take your class into the world, it's uh, definitely going to be hard for you to take the world into your class. And it's something which is doing uh, as some wonders. Me, I'm a mathematics teacher. So I even take my students to, the, to do statistics, for example. And from there, I give them a chance to present whatever they have collected from the farm or from the community. We know that the blackboard was invented in 1801, but we cannot teach digital skills if we are still using the ancient device. So as teachers, we ought to give our learners an opportunity to practice their digital skills. They practice their communication skills, their presentation skills, and it's something which is good for us as teachers. Let's always push for that. Uh, we there's a collaborate with so many organizations, but one organization that has stood out is the Level Up Village organization. It's based in the USA. And what this organization does, it connects uh, schools in USA to schools in the world. So, Beaza High School is one like a school that was connected by this uh, this organization. We've been partnering so many schools in the USA. And among the projects, there are so many projects, but among the projects, we have one where we use a 3D printer to design shapes using uh, computer-assisted de uh, design uh, software. And uh, from there, the, the designs are printed on a 3D printer. But what is uh, uh, so important is the collaboration between the partner teachers and the collaboration between the learners. Because every week the students are supposed to send video editors. They keep on sharing ideas as they go through the engineering design cycle, which includes building, testing, uh, failing, and proving their creation. And yeah, it's something which is doing us one. But as a mathematics teacher, I took advantage of the 3D printer which was donated to us. And I created shapes which I use in my class. So whenever I'm teaching any topic to do with dimensions, I just use those shapes. And it came as a result of working uh, in that project. And as, for example, an English teacher, we teach our students communication skills. So these students, every other week, they communicate. And it gives them a global view. They actually take themselves as global inventors. And it's something which is really doing that's what that is. You know, collaborating every other time and they are talking to their partners in the USA. And, you know, it's something which is so interesting and they are always looking forward to it. Now, as a school, we are so young in the field of app development. We, we are developing two apps. Uh, the first app is uh, called FarmPop. Uh, what FarmPop does is uh, it's an app that is uh, uh, it's going to be linking farmers to the, to the experts. And it has uh, a, a component where a farmer can easily consult uh, an expert on any agricultural practice. It has a component which can foretell the weather and in that way it helps the farmer plan accordingly. Uh, we are looking forward to linking it to the farmer in that a teacher who is teaching in class can easily refer to what is actually on the, on the ground by using that app. Uh, and it has the best practice, uh, farming practices uh, in that if you are growing any crop, you just use that app to guide you through the steps that you're supposed to take as a farmer. And we are looking forward to, to launching it after successfully uh, completing it. The other one is a, a best math app. It's an app that we think is going to be helping the runners uh, do some mathematics questions. We know that the generation we are dealing with is a tech savvy generation. So as teachers, if we are not first to cross the gap between 
our students and ourselves, in the end, you are going to become a problem with the runner. So the only way we can do that is to work hand in hand with the runners to do what is interesting to them. And in that way, we are creating an app that is going to be bringing us to the runners, even when they are away from, from school. And we are hoping forward to having these apps running after successfully completing them. Uh, we know that the community we deal with is she has not fully understood the use of educational apps. So at opportune times, we, we usually exhibit these apps. We exhibit the apps to the, to the wider community so that they know how important these apps are. In that someone who doesn't have a smartphone is enticed to get one because you know that you are going to benefit at the end of the day, especially if you are having an app that is being worked in any way what you're doing. And it's something which we are working for. Now, we know that as we seek uh, for more collaboration, a lot of care is needed to safeguard the users of the content. We, we are looking at a time when we shall be uh, uh, creating the uh, logging, logging details. Someone who is logging into the platform uh, is supposed to be having, for example, an email address or a telephone contact in that we prevent people who are having ill intentions of uh, accessing the, the content maybe that we have put up on the platform. And in that way, we, we hope we are going to safeguard, especially our, our youth who might end up uh, misusing uh, the platform or maybe they can get exposed to cyberbullying. You know, never know. Uh, we know that there are so many challenges that do come with collaboration. Among them is the competition among the schools. You know that some schools, uh, the teachers are afraid of sharing because they know that if they share with school X, then school X is going to beat them when it comes to head of their exams. So the teachers are not willing to share and it's becoming a challenge to us because they feel it's going to, to dilute uh, uh, maybe their position when it comes to national rankings. Uh, some schools reward their teachers. So, the schools which reward their teachers, the teachers are a bit reluctant to share. Because they know that if they share, there are high chances that many schools are going to pass and the schools will not give them the rewards that they look forward to having. And it's, it's becoming a challenge. But of course we know that the hardware and the software is also, because the productivity is something which is affecting us and, uh, African countries and it's becoming a big challenge. And at times we, when we start a collaborative project, uh, maintaining that group momentum becomes a problem. Uh, the people, they lose a tense interest along the way and something which is uh, becoming a hindrance towards collaboration. But also having the right and deserving training for teachers. It's also another challenge. And we are working uh, so hard to see that we have the right technology and our teachers are well trained uh, to collaborate uh, that is there. But of course the security of the hardware and the security of the users online is another challenge that comes with collaboration and we are working hard to, to see that everything is put in place. But against uh, those challenges, collaboration has helped students attain a number of skills. They have attained, for example, media skills, creativity, innovation, uh, communication skills, but a few. And these are skills that are needed in the 21st century. And as a school, we are always equipping our students with these skills. And it's something which is being us uh, wonders. But the teachers have also benefited. More teachers are opening up to collaboration. They are opening up to collaboration, especially at Gaza High School. And the media that is created is being used by these, uh, these teachers in their classrooms. Uh, and it's something which is uh, enhancing our good working relationship among the staff. And most of them are adapting to the use of ICT, which was not the case. We must agree that we are smarter together. If we can't work together, then it's going to be a challenge for us to cooperate. 
I thank you for your audience and that the other school will never be back. Thank you. There is any question? Project we are piloting. We are looking forward to a time. Uh, we do it at our school. We do it as in our computer uh, laboratory, but we are looking forward to having more schools on, online. Whereby uh, different schools are going to be setting tests, which is going to give our students a chance to have a few different setups. Uh, so, what we are doing, uh, we are piloting uh, study whereby we shall get so many schools, they sit for the same test then the marks are going to be collected centrally and in that way we feel it's going to serve us time. Uh, we have multiple choice, we have feeling, we can have puzzles, they are quite right. No, maybe just me. Good morning, Mr. Niranda. Thank you very much for a very insightful collaboration that you uh, opened up, you know, some new ways of looking at things. I'm Marna May from the Northwest University in Creative Arts. Looking specific, specifically at your, um, you know, using YouTube and that type of devices, and one of the pictures that I've seen on the display was of a student maybe communicating with the rest of uh, other students as well. And again, because at university we are also struggling to get through the whole ethical part of using minors in our visuals. And I think with social media and using um, YouTube and so on, it becomes, yeah, that previous one, it becomes, no, go back, yeah. You see, because all those faces, for instance, uh, yes, Look now, if you're going to hit on the arrow, I'm sure you're going to be able to look at the person and what sort of ethical um, uh, substance or, or um, uh, you know, confirmation, the approval that you received beforehand, for instance, because that is what we are looking at, protecting the rights, the human rights, children's rights, etc. So it will be nice if you can just inform us what sort of ethical um, you know, innovations or things that you've used? Uh, well, like for example, the videos you're seeing, uh, it's, uh, it's a collaborative page between our school and the school in the USA. So, here every student is supposed to have the login details. Uh, so, every runner logs in and they see what their partner has put up on the platform and they make theirs and they upload it. So this is sort of private. But of course you have the challenge of YouTube. Uh, if we can get some other work who are doing it to save us a lot, but you know, we are still struggling. We use the best available resources for us. But of course it's, it's a big challenge and uh, maybe I can talk to you after that. You can advise. Thank you. Thank you so much. You're welcome. If you have any other questions or if you'd like to find out more about uh, Theodore and Gayaza High School, please chat to him after the stream.